Besides, you ain't black. What do you have to say to young black voters who see voting for you as further participation in a system that continually fails to protect them? He said, I would not get into court packing. I would not pack the court. That's not what you're saying now. If I had answered the question directly, then all the focus would be on what's Biden going to do if he wins instead of on is it appropriate what is going on now? I have not been a fan of pat co- uh, court packing because I think it just generates what will happen. Every Whoever wins, it just keeps moving in a way that is inconsistent with what is going to be manageable. So you're still not a fan? Well, I'm not a fan. I then say uh, it depends on how this turns out. Not how he wins, but how it's handled. How it's handled. I mean, it depends on how much they rush this. You know, you said so many times during the campaign, all through the course of your career, it's important to level with It is, but George, if I, if I say, no matter what answer I gave you, if I say it, that's the headline tomorrow. It won't be about what's going on now, the improper way they're proceeding. But don't voters have a right to know where you they stand? They do have a right to know where they stand, and they'll have a right to know where I stand before they vote. So you'll come out with a clear position before Election Day? Yes depending on how they handle this. And vote for a president who think is more in line with you. And if you oppose the position that I, I would not have appointed her, but if you oppose my position, vote for Trump. Vote for a Republican who shares that view. Peace is breaking out all over the world. Our troops are coming home. Serbia is talking to Kosovo. And the Arabs and Israelis are talking peace, which I believe is a modern day miracle what's going on. Does President Trump's foreign policy deserve some credit? A little, but not a whole lot. You know, I would say we find ourselves less secure than we've been. I do compliment the president on the deal with, uh, 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 with Israel recently. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, if you take a look, we're not very well trusted around the world. The idea that an eight-year-old child or a 10-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. They're being murdered. Amy Coney Barrett's being pushed through at the last minute, even though millions have already voted. So what do you think about ideas from um, people like Pete Buttigieg and others to put in place safeguards that will help ensure more long-term balance and stability? Uh, What the judge said was she didn't answer very many questions at all. And I don't even think she has laid out much of a judicial philosophy in terms of the basis upon which she thinks are there unenumerated rights in the Constitution and the West. So, number one. So I think there's great reason to be concerned for the LGBT community, something I fought very hard for for a long time to make sure there's equality across the board. The way the people have a right to determine who's going to be on the court is how they vote for their senators and their president. We seek the advice and consent of the Senate and the president. The president's president for all four years, isn't he? No, he is. But once an election begins, by implication, It is inconsistent with the constitutional principles, in my view. Many people believe that the true swing demographic in this election will be black voters under the age of 30. Not because they'll be voting for Trump, but because they won't vote at all. I myself have had this exact same conflict. So my question for you then is, besides you ain't black, what do you have to say to young black voters who see voting for you as further participation in a system that continually fails to protect them? If young black women and men vote, you can determine the outcome of this election. Not a joke. You can do that. Then the next question is, am I worthy of your vote? Can I earn your vote? We have to be able to put black Americans in a position to be able to gain wealth, generate wealth. 